half hour special which will preview the upcoming heavyweight championship fight. I will be there along with Larry Merchant and George Foreman as the three of us look at all the issues surrounding that much anticipated and highly controversial fight premiering Monday, October 21 right here on HBO. Let's go to Jorge Paez this corner. Go four on top, then go to the body. More pressure. More pressure and work. Go to work. Move. Make your moves and then throw punches. Don't think, just throw punches. punches at close quarters in the center of the ring. Paez, just like his corner stands, you can't concern yourself about winning points. You're gonna have to get a knockout. You fight for the, I mean, for the championship of the world, you go out there and you let everything hang out. If you fall to the canvas, your managers, they'll come and pick you up. Go for a knockout. Well, when Jorge Paez first won the featherweight championship of the world against Calvin Grove down in Mexicali, he trailed throughout the entire bout, seemingly out of it in points. And then in the 15th and final round, he put Grove on the canvas three times to rally dramatically and win the fight. The lesson is you don't ever count this guy out. That's right. And this is the time he should be searching for a knockout. <laughs> Not waiting. There's no more 15 rounds, you know. Go for the knockout. Forget about winning this fight by points. You're behind. Go for the knockout. They do a great job on Paez's cut eyelid between rounds. And then about midway through each round, the blood begins to flow. Here it comes again. Whitaker remembering to go to the body and then a devastating left hand right into the eye. And again. And by Whitaker, you sit to hit him and he moves in another direction. Hard to get a solid punch off on him. Early on, Whitaker was circling him. Now you notice Whitaker's standing fast. He's not moving backwards or side to side. Like, I control the fight. That's hard for a boxer to establish that I own the middle of this ring. Brunel Whitaker, 27 years old. He put together his professional career. This is the 28th fight. In an amateur career with more than 250 of them, there's very little he hasn't seen in the ring. Jorge Paez, by contrast, had only three amateur fights. With Paez, he should just play soft for a second, let the guy relax, and then come on top and get him. Now Paez's vision is again affected by the blood flowing down from the eyelid. What do you do when you're a one-eyed fighter, George? <laughs> you cry for help. You know, when you, one eye is hurt, you just got to forget about being orthodox. You got to charge in there and get the other guy with one eye also. You just can't sit back and decide my corner's going to help me. What about the vision problem? He's clearly having trouble seeing out of that eye now. The thing about boxing, my manager told me earlier when I complained about a scar. In this business, you'll have them everywhere. You just got to keep fighting. And Jorge Paez keeps fighting at the end of round 10, but more and more, it's an uphill battle. <laughs> Yeah, no. Another button. I covered it already. I covered it. He has another head button. Mel, it's another head button. Also, you got the heads in there, but majority of the tape is intense, and I call it, okay? Okay. Hey, who's got to check any more tape or tape yourself? Yeah. 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 Hello. Don't run from him. I want you right back there. Just, just make a little, make a little uh, circle. You understand? Close, tight circle. But you'll be right, fine, fine. When you're done. making miss, make him pay. You understand? Oh. Okay, here we go. Cornell oh. Whitaker's problem as a lightweight is that there really hasn't been a second best lightweight out there to challenge him. Paez is a reasonable facsimile of such a fighter. And 
Bill Brunel may be headed toward the kind of lopsided decision that leaves fight fans mildly dissatisfied. His manager told him earlier about a tight circle. You, you circle him, but you don't get too far away from him. You stay tight, but you circle. Always within arm's length. This is the favorite theory of trainer George Benton. Tight circle. For both Cornell and Melzer Taylor, they call it fighting in the zone. And I guess the big part of the theory, George, is not to get stuck on the rope. The whole idea is to be within arm length. If the guy can hit you, you can duck, you can do anything. But if you get away from him, you give him a lot of courage and hit you, catch you on the end of those punches. A left and a right landed inside for Kayez, who shows buckets of courage. Whitaker again pinpoints the eye with a left hand and another. The thing about Whitaker, he's all he's not even breathing hard. Now he's in sensational condition. Of course, he stayed busy. Now, when you're active, an active fighter is always a good, well-conditioned fighter. It's like walking down the street. We had him July 27 in Norfolk, Virginia. 69 days ago. He for seemed to be a champion. Excuse me, for an undisputed champion, that's a very short period of time between fights. Whitaker seems to be anticipating the punches, the whereabouts of the punches landing, and he has his defense set, preset. landed a home run punch there with the left hand. You can't get you relaxed. Paez can still knock you out. Well, I think Brunel has shown a capacity to be careful while still being aggressive in these last few rounds. Boy. is trying to relax him a little bit so he can get home a good shot. Helps him, plays with him, and then maybe I can get home. Whitaker with a little clowning. Almost stepped over the top of Fiaz's head, and Mills Lane doesn't like it, and he wants a point deducted from Brunel Whitaker. He's warned him time and time out since the fight started about his time. Well, Larry Merchant told you before the fight about the incident four years ago when Whitaker pulled down Roger Mayweather's short. And tonight he has decided on a few occasions to outclown the clown. I don't know where I was when all that was happening, but I haven't seen much clowning around. Uh, he just sort of stepped over Paez in an awkward when they were both in an awkward position. I don't know why it merited a deduction, but perhaps the replay will show it to us. Now let's see what happens here. He actually tries to put him on between his legs, put his head between his legs. Okay. Well, I think you have to go back to rounds one and two when he twice was warned by Lane for holding Tyus down with his arm on the back of Tyus' neck. He's hard. He's really tired. Go get him. Do not rest. He's tired. He first. on top of him. You understand? All right. Bernal Whitaker describes himself as a 12-round fighter. And here he is again. Come on. I have a question to throw out to you guys. Do you think that off of this fight, in fighting in this kind of stand-up economical style that Whitaker is giving Julio Cesar Chavez anything to worry about. Believe me, he can whip him. You think he can beat Chavez? No doubt in my mind. I see he can take a punch and he can last. His only problem is he gets too careless in the last round. Okay, a point deduction now from Payet. can't turn your back on a boxer. And that deduction was for holding and hitting, the same crime for which Whitaker was penalized one round to go. I as a fan, listen, you're not going to treat me like that.
about your question, Larry. I'm not so sure that Whitaker wouldn't play into Chavez's hands by fighting this style against Chavez. He'd be fighting Julio Cesar Chavez's fight. And now let's continue with the 12th round of Paez Whitaker here. A minute and a half to go. And Jorge Paez has hung in with the cut eye through six rounds of damage now. Not only did he hang in there, he put on a good show. When you consider he has to protect his eye after fight. Left hand lands for Paez. His corner having asked him for the knockout. And Whitaker is momentarily stunned by a right hand. But now Purnell comes back with a combination in the middle of the ring. The tape is flying free off Paez's left glove, and now an exhausted Jorge Paez falls through the ring rope. And Mills Lane is.